Let's start with the uh, Hebrew alphabet song. Ale pet gimel dale rebabuzain. Hetet yod kapulamet. Mem nun same. I'm penjade. Kokure shishin shin tabu. Okay, today uh, we are going to study uh, Hebrew alphabet meaning uh, the fifth letter. Fifth letter. So far, we study the meaning of alphabet Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, and then today is how do you pronounce this alphabet? Hey, hey, hey. So, hey is the throat sound. Uh, grammatically, we used to say guttural, guttural. So, it's almost like a sound of uh, very weak and then small. Hey, hey. So, it comes from the throat. As you see this hey itself, the, the form and shape, we call this one is windpipe. Okay. So here, you see here, it's now all closed, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a window, or this is the ventilation. So you are in here inside the house because that is house. So you are inside the house, and then this is the ground, and then you only can look outside through this place so that's why and you look at the sky and you look at the sun outside of the house only through here and that's why it says also wind pipe the wind gets in through here and then in and out only through here that's why he called wind pipe so hey not only throat sound when you say pronounce the hey you open up your mouth right hey hey so it's wind pipe also the meaning of the hey not only wind pipe it is hope and desire desire and hope so we're gonna study more detail later on and again the hay is ventilated window through heaven so as you see the the form and then the image shape of this letter and then we can remind this one is divine breath revelation because you can only see outside from here so it's a revelation open it up so look outside and inside and then light comes in through this window right and then night time you look at the star daytime you look at the moon uh, the stars and moon at the night time and then daytime you look at the sun outside so the hair the meaning also is look or behold so English translate many times look or behold okay behold look so which means behold means what understand aware okay be alert so that's a behold Let's change the atmosphere and situation right wake up behold understand look so it's a look and behold what is the greek word a similar behold translate behold in greek letter do you do you remember edo edo so edo also to see to know and then it also translate look 
Behold, behold. So behold the heaven through window. So do not sleep inside the house, right? Wake up. Look heaven through this window. So there is a hey, hey. The strong number is uh, 1887, he, he, which translated as law. Uh, let's go to the, uh, the, uh, the that use, he, strong number 1887. Uh, it only shows the two place uh, on, on our uh, uh, note. Uh, let's go to uh, Genesis 47.23. Genesis 47, 23. Uh, here uh, is the story of the Joseph. What is the meaning of Joseph? Joseph means add plus. Add plus. That's what it means. And then we can uh, read it through. Um, 20 then joseph bought all the land of egypt for peril for every man of the egyptians sold his field because the feminine famine was severe upon them so the land became perils and as for the people he moved them into the cities from one end of the borders of the egypt to the other end only the land of the priest he did not buy, here he means Joseph, for the priest had rations allotted, allotted to them by Pharaoh, and they ate their rations which Pharaoh gave them, therefore they did not sell their land. 23. Then Joseph said to the people, Indeed, I have bought you and your land this day for Pharaoh, look. Here is seed for you, and you, sh you, sh you, sh you shall sow the land. And it shall come to pass in the harvest that you shall give one-fifth to peril, four-fifths shall be your own, as seed for the field and for your food, for those of your household, and as food for your little one. So they said, the people said, You have saved our lives, let us find favor in the sight of my Lord will be Pharaoh's servant. So, the look at the verse 23. You see, uh, hen, strong number 2005. Hen is also translated as behold, same as he. Okay? You see the he here, 1887, he. And this is hen. But both of them, it translated as uh, behold and behold too. Okay, but when you look at here, the translation is uh, different. Uh, English translation is different from the uh, original text. Okay, so I translated on the handout direct translation from here. Okay, Biomed Yosef L Ham. Okay, so Biomed Yosef. Yosef begin to say L towards to Ha'am, the people. Okay. Hen, behold, behold, understand, understand. Look. Kaniti, Kaniti. So common first person singular. So I, Kana means buy. So I have bought. I have bought. Etikem. Etikem is what? Et. Right? Et is? Alep tab, right? Mm -hmm. Alep tab. Alep through tab. Alep, human nature. Tab, goal. How can we start and to get to the destination? Through what? Christ Jesus. Through Christos Jesus. Which means through the knowledge of God through the knowledge of God so the reason why here says masculine second person plural because it is chem chem okay so for your ministry for your ministry okay so whole means I let through top 
for the convenience of to understand whole whole process that that's what it means Alep to Tav so your ministry of Alep to Tav your ministry of Alep to Tav Hayom 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 is Ha is determined the day the day so the day of your whole ministry the day of your whole ministry okay but here just say this day but it Ha is the determiner determiner the day the day so that's why here your ministry for your ministry the day the day the day day means the yom means period okay period okay from the one day to seventh day that is the hayom at hayom is one day through seventh day okay so not this day okay so your ministry start from ox finish the tav which is the core okay so that's what it means okay so who bought it yosef has bought your ministry from alep to tav be'et be'et be and again alep to tav be'et Hadimati Kem again Kem right Kem Kem your ministry and then Adama mm -hmm. so he's not only by the ministry of the period and but also ministry of Ha ministry of Adama which means hoping Adam so hoping Adam is I left through top right you got to start from to the end through seven days seven period seven steps okay but English translate your land your land which is hoping Adam so whole hoping Adam but here at did not even translate also this at did not translate here Le pario, le pario, which means for peril, for peril. Peril means great house. It's on my uh, handout. Okay. So Joseph began to say to the people, Lord, behold, I have bought all the day of your ministry and whole ground, which means ground is Adama, hoping Adam of your ministry for great house peril and then hen uh, hey that's what that this is the one we are studying today right hey behold or law law like him for your ministry for your ministry okay for your ministry jara jara means Seed, seed. Bejira atem, bejira atem. Same thing, right? Jara. Okay. Jara is the seed, and then when this become the verb, jara is sow, sow seed, sow seed. Et ha adama. Okay. So the Adam, hoping the Adam. So Alep through top hoping Adam for your ministry your ministry sold right so here seed for your ministry and your ministry have sown for the ground Adama so first of all you need to purchase the land right and then sold so that reminds us to the uh, the parable Christus Jesus says in the uh, Matthew chapter 13 right you found treasures and then you sell everything to purchase the land right? once you found the treasure on the land so that's the here hand or so translate as behold and then hair or so translate as behold 
Uh, let's go to Ezekiel 16.43 They show the hair Okay English Because you did not remember the days of your youth But agitated me with all these things surely i will also recompense your deeds on your own head say the lord god and you shall not commit lewdness how do you pronounce this one that's correct lewdness lewdness in addition to all your abominations and this translation is also not not correct so i directly translate on my handout okay and then this one even uh, translate the hen, hair. You see here, where's the hair here? 43. You see hair? Right here, right? 1887. Hair. And then King James translate, behold. Behold. Okay. But look at the uh, new King James. Do you see... Uh, these probably recompense your deeds on your own head, surely. So the hair, behold here, right? Hair, hair, any, any means the personal pronoun I, right? I. And then the lack, the lack is your way, right? Your way, your way. So your way, bad or she, or she. So we learned this one where Genesis chapter one verse one, bereshit, reshit. It comes from rosh. So in head, right? In head, in head. And then natanti, natanti. It is not recompense. We learn recompense when we when we learn the Hebrew meaning of the alphabet gimel, right? Gimel. Okay. This is a Natan. Natan is give, give, not recompense, give. And then, Ni'im Adonai Yehovah, Yehovah. So the Lord, my Lord, my Lord, Yehovah, Yehovah, Oracle, Oracle, which is a Logos, O, Oracle. So I have given Oracle Lord Yehovah. Where? In head. In head. Your way. Your way. So that's why I put here, I have given you a way in head, Oracle of my Lord Yehovah. Yehovah. So law, be, behold, understand. Perceive, I have given you a way. Where? In head, in head. So, what? Oracle of my Lord, Yehovah. So that's, that's the correct translation. But here it says, Surely I will also recompense your deeds on your own head. Say the Lord God. So different. And the next one is the same. The strong number 1888, same as 1887, is he. He, but this one uh, called Aramaic, Aramaic word. So the same, no change, and also uh, just different strong number. But it showed the Daniel. Let's go to Daniel 243. Daniel 243 okay. As you saw iron mixed with the ceramic clay they will mingle with the seed of man but they will not adhere to one another just as iron does not mix with clay so do you see 
Hey here, 43. 1888, right here, right? Okay. But the King James translated as even, okay? Even as iron, not mixed with clay. And then the new King James, they just put just. Just. Just as iron does not mix with clay. So the hey is behold, look, understand. Okay, understand. Iron is not mixed with clay. So what is it talking here? The image, right? So when we go back, uh, 31, the Daniel, uh, Daniel is explained about the dream of the king, right? So, 31, you, O king, were watching, and behold, let's look at behold, they translate behold. So, you see behold here? 31. 431. And behold, Alu. Okay, let's see here. Okay. So, behold a great image which is a big statue, right? Mm -hmm. This great image whose splendor was excellent stood before you and its form was awesome. This image's head was of the fine gold, its chest and arms of silver, and its belly thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly clay. You watched while a stone was cut out without hand, which struck the image on its feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold were crushed together and became like a shaft from the summer threshing floors. The wind carried them away so that no trace of them was found, and the stone that struck the image became a great mountain filled the whole earth. This is a dream. Now we will tell the interpretation of it before the king. You, O king, are king of kings, for the God of heaven has given you a kingdom, power, strength, and glory. And whenever the children of men dwell, or the beasts of the field, and the birds of the heaven, he has given them into your hand, and has made you a ruler over them, or you are this head of gold. So he is the head, right, the, on the image of the stature. And but after you shall arise another kingdom inferior of yours, then another, a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over the whole earth. So this one is talking about, we know the uh, Babylon, Medo-Persia, and then the Greek, and then the Rome, right? And then two legs, right? The Rome. And then the, again the 30, uh, 38. Whenever the children of men dwell uh, uh, or the beasts of the field and the birds of the heaven, he has given them into your hand and has made ruler over them or you are uh, this head of gold. But after you shall arise another kingdom, inferior to yours than another, a third kingdom of bronze which shall rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be as strong and shatters everything and like iron that crushed. That kingdom will break in pieces, crush all the other. Whereas you saw the feet and toes partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, yet the strength of the iron shall be in it, just as you saw the iron mixed with the ceramic clay. and as the toes of the feet were partly of iron and partly of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. As you saw iron mixed with the ceramic clay, they will mingle with the seed of man, but they will not adhere to one another, just as iron does not mix with the clay. We just read it, right? And in the days of these kings, the gold of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and consume all this kingdom, and it shall stand forever. 
in as much as you saw that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hand and that it broke in pieces the iron the bronze the clay the silver and the gold the great god has made known to the king what will come to pass after this the dream is certain and its interpretation is sure so the clay represent the uh, Adam Adam is Herod so Roman and then Adam and then it destroyed through the stone right so who is stone Christos Jesus so all idol or image made by man's hand will be destroyed through the Christos Jesus and then the kingdom then made through the Christos Jesus we are the kingdom will be forever so that's the dream of the uh, Babylon uh, Nebuchadnezzar's uh, dream let's go to Daniel 3.25 so it also talking about that the king made an image of gold, right? Etc. And then 25. Look. You see here? Look. He answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. They are not hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of man. So this one is the uh, the king was astonished and he rose in haste and spoke saying his counselor verse 24 did we not cast the three men bound into the midst of the fire they answered and said to the king true O king and then here it says look right look so verse 25 you see look be, behold right hey hey a is showing here so he is wind pipe and then you translate as behold look law okay and then this he uh, in the Hebrew grammar it used a couple of different ways okay uh, when he used as a prefix it is determiner Okay, the parsing code is D, and then definite article. So not only Hebrew has a definite article, but also Greek has definite article, right? But in English grammar, and there is a definite article and indefinite article. But Hebrew and Greek doesn't have indefinite article, only have definite article. Okay, so definite article we translate as the, T-H-E, so that is the he. Whenever he uses prefix, they show determiner. But in case of Greek, is what? Ho, right? Ho. Ho is determiner in the Greek. So strong number 8064. Ha, sha, ma, im. Right? Ha, sha, ma, im. So ha is determiner that's why on the parsing you see the d which is definite article so ha shamaim shamaim is noun masculine doer so ha shamaim so it is the heaven the heaven is dual form yeah, dual form and then we learn the meaning of ha shamaim right shin is grind grinding polishing which means research study and then maim maim is water water is what so grinding water researching water study water study the world so polishing world but it is a dual form right which means cognition discernment right so we have to have a discernment and cognition so that's the hasha maim Another way we also uh, analyze Shem. Shem Im, right? Shem is name. Im is dual form in uh, Hebrew grammar. So, which means to name. To name. So, which is 
we have to have a cognition, right? So that's why in uh, Greek uh, New Testament, okay, you call the name as Jesus, Jesus. So actually, English translate called, but it is Kaleo. So invite his name as Jesus, Jesus. Yehoshua in Hebrew, which means the Savior, Savior, existence of salvation. So it is two names. That's why in the, the Apostle Paul is talking about other Jesus. So, okay, we know the Jesus, what's meaning is a Savior, the existence, existence of salvation, or uh, what is other Jesus then? So we have to know the Jesus and other Jesus. And then it also say what? Different gospel, right? Other gospel and then gospel. Okay? And then different spirit and then spirit. So those are all doer, which he has to understand through study, polishing. So two names, two names. So that is Hashamayim. So two names. So in heaven, there is two authority because name is authority, two authority. So but what happened when we go to the revelation? There is a war in heaven. The Mikael says, Mikael, the name means me, who, ka, like, el, almighty God. Who's like almighty God? And then the serpent and devil is cast out from the heaven. And then war finished. And then God can rest inside me because there is only one name. We combine with only one name, which is Emmanuel. Emmanuel status, right? So that's the heaven. So when we drop this Ha definite article, just Shamaim. Shamaim is heaven, dual form. Dual form. So on the sixth day, the Christos Jesus is born inside us, so those cognition is finished. Discernment is finished. That's why the in Greek heaven only has singular and plural. There is no dual heaven. So Hebrew only has a dual heaven because the the discernment is not finished yet. We still need to polishing study the word of God and then those plural of heaven is the heaven living right and then singular heaven urano is just heaven okay, okay number two uh, grammar note and the uh, he also used as interrogative interrogative okay like uh, for example here Ha Shem Ha Shem Okay As I mentioned before Ha Shamaim You see the Shem here right That's what Ha Shem Ha means What Ha means what When Ha He uses an interrogative Ha is what Shem Name So Ha Shem means One name One name Okay So Ha Shem also say it can take as a definite article, as a prefix, so the name, the name, or as interrogative, one name, either or. Okay? So, Jew, common way to refer to God. When you uh, search through the Google or any dictionary, you know, Jew used to refer to God as Hashem, Hashem. Because the name of God is so high, they cannot even mention from their own mouth. So that, that's the uh, background. But in our common sense, we know the name of the God is Yehovah, right? Then why should we say Yehovah instead of say Hashem? We know the name Yehovah. That's why the King James translate Jehovah as what? Just translate as Lord instead of Jehovah. <coughs> because the God is so sacred the name, they cannot even, they don't want to mention from their own mouth. 
Okay. Because you don't want to mention your father's name when you were young, right? Because he's too, <laughs> too higher <laughs> to you. So let's just say father instead of say name, right? But when you grow up, you can say name. But anyhow, here Hashem, uh, Jews, common, common way to refer to God. But we know the name of the Lord, Yehovah. Yehovah. But in other way, we can say, they don't know the real name of the God. Even though they know the Yehovah, but they don't know the Yehovah. What that means. So, one name. Like a manna, right? Manna. They ate manna in the wilderness church. Manna. Okay. Manna. They, what does that mean? Manna is, what's this? What's this? So they don't know the meaning, the manna. Manna is the one that comes from the heaven, which is, that gives eternal life. But they just ate it without knowing spiritual meaning. So the first generation here all died, destroyed on the wilderness church. Same thing. Jews. One name. Don't you really don't know the name? Yehovah? So anyhow, the gram grammatical tip interrogative is ha which is what and then also the the he the alphabet he uh, when when on the verb we are not study the hebrew verb yet and there is a seven verbs in hebrew okay but with the he whenever he prefix they change to hit pile or hit pill. Okay, hit pile verb is intensive reflexive, ref, reflexive, which is the reflexive action is action for your own benefit, right? And then causative active. That is hit pill, hit pill verb. So there is a the lemma primitive verb, and then you put he in front. That makes the verb either intensive reflective, which is called the hit fire verb, or causative active hit pill verb. And on your test book, I make a note. Uh, in the end part of here, you see the, uh, the seventh stem of paradigm, those verbs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you see the hit pile, you see the he, 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 right? Car verb compared with that. So hit the pile, hit pill, it start it prefix what? Hey here, right? So that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we are going to study when we study the verb. And then the next next grammatical tip on the he, when it uses suffix as he. The grammatical it says Direction, uh, direction indicator, okay, which show the direction, okay. So that express hope. That's why we translate whenever he is suffix, and then the meaning is hope, because you wants to move that direction, okay, that direction. For example, okay. Strong number 120 is Adam. Adam. Noun masculine singular. So Adam means man, right? Which called the uh, first man Adam. The first man Adam. So look at the Adam. We already learned Alep, Dalet. Man, we didn't learn yet, but we know man is water. So Alep is ox and human nature. And then Dalet is draw. And then Mem is water. So what is the man means? The Adam means draw water, human nature, right? So the nature of the man is what? Draw water. Draw word, word of God. So if you are not interested in the word of God, if you are not interesting about your identity, for example. Why should you? Why, why do you need to eat? Why do you need to sleep? Why do you need to make money? Okay. So some people thinking philosophical meaning. 
Some people even does not get there, right? <laughs> they just do. <laughs> hey, my father did it. I gotta survive in this world, or whatever case may be. Okay? Have you think about God, your creator? Have you think about the purpose of your life? So at least on that level, right? And that is the Adam's level, right? Because you need to draw water. You need to questioning. Questioning about those fundamental questions about your life. So Adam. But look at here. 127, right? Ha Adama. So we just looked at it. Uh, Genesis 47, 23. One of the showing the Ha Adama, right? So here, Ha. You know, Adama, you see He, right? So He, beginning He, this is a prefix, and then end with He, which is suffix. So the prefix He is what? Determiner, right? And then suffix He is what? Direction indicator. You want to move to that direction to what? Adam. Make sense? So that's why He can translate as hoping, desiring, because it is direction indicator. You want to move forward to that direction. Make sense? So that's why Ha Adama in English Bible translated as land in case of that we just saw it Genesis 47:23, right? And then the uh, Genesis 27 uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 and it translated as ground so ground and land etc okay but when we just see this one ha adama ha is the determiner adam we just see that man adam ma is the direction indicator which is hope desire right so hoping adam hoping actually hoping the Adam, right? Because it's the determiner, right? Hoping the Adam, right? Hoping the Adam. So that means to become what? Last man Adam. That's what it means. Okay? Because you as an Adam, you want to hoping the Adam. The indicate determiner. Only one, right? So you want to moving towards to become the last Adam. That's what it means. That's why proper translation ha adama ha adama means hoping the adam. Okay, so put here hoping so put t h e here. Okay, because it's the determiner, hoping the adam. Okay. So let's go to the Genesis chapter two verse seven, and then he says, "And the Lord God formed man. Man is ha adam. So you have to put what formed." The man, right? Form the man. So put here the man also, okay? T H E D, okay? The man of the dust of the ground, Ha Adama, and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living being. Let's look at the original text, 2 7. Genesis. Chapter 2, verse 7. Okay. And the Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. Right? So, by Cher Yehovah Elohim at Ha Adam, Apar Min Ha Adama, by Pek, Pe Pai, Pe Api, Api, Up, which is a nostril, Neshmat, Nishmat Haim, by He, Ha Adam, Le Peshi Haya. So he begin to yachar. So he begin to form. Who is he? Yehovah. Okay. 
hoping the existing one. So, Yehovah begin to Yatzar. Yatzar is formed, okay? Elohim, ministry to hope, almighty. Et, et ha'adam. So, et, alep ha'adam, tav ha'adam, right? So, start from the first Adam to the last Adam, right? <coughs> okay. So, he formed, okay? Yehovah formed. Okay. Use what? Apar. Apar is dust. Dust. Okay. Min. It just say of, but min is out of. Okay. It's the same as ek, preposition in Greek, out of, which is a starting point, right? Out of. Origin. Okay. So, out of ha adama. Okay. So, ha adama. Ha adama is what? We just see that, right? The hoping, hoping the Adam. Okay. So, a par formed a par out of hoping Adam. So, you can get to, when you get to the top, and you become the last Adam. That's what it means. And then by pech, by pach and breathe, he begin to breathe. Okay. In be, be is in preposition. In his up nostril. Dishmat, dishmat, haim. You see, hai is the life, but ministry life. Okay, it's a plural. Ministry life of breath. And by he, he begin, begin to exist. He begin to exist. Who is he? Determiner, now masculine secular. So, the Adam begin to exist. Le nepeshi haya. For living creature. Nepeshi, living creature. So Nepeshi is what? Pushke. Pushke. Okay. So which is when we go to the first Corinthians chapter 15 is the first Adam is living being. That means Nepeshi high. So Nepeshi high also show in the Genesis chapter 1. Those all living creatures. So same living soul means living creature. Same as those animal, cattle, all those things which is breathing, breathing creature. That's what it means. Okay. So here is ha adama. We are studying. So suffix ha is the adama direct direction indicator, which is hope and desire. Okay. So he used in many different type of grammatical form. Okay. So, explanation more detail talking about Genesis 2 7. We can go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45 to 47. As, let's read, and so it is written, the first man Adam became a living being. So, like we just saw the, from the Hebrew text, Nepeshi le Nepeshi haya, which is for, uh, for living soul. It, it, uh, it translated on there, but the New Testament says living being, right? Became living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural. And afterward, the spiritual, the first man was of the earth, made of dust. So Greek word was apar, right? Apar. The second man is the Lord from heaven. So Adama, Adama, instead of uh, translated as ground or, or land, okay, the proper translation can be hoping the Adam, okay. And also when he used as a suffix or noun, it turns to feminine noun, okay, feminine noun. So adding a he at the end of a noun, so you see the, the 
the, the prefix he on the verb that makes we just saw it the uh, hit pile or hit pill, right? So in case of he is on the noun is a suffix feminize it or allow it to be fruitful and reproductive. So the feminine role is fruit and reproductive anyhow, right? So when he comes at the end of a noun, it changed to feminine noun. So for example here, strong number 376, how do you pronounce? It's H what? H C e, 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 E. E. This is an E sound. Okay? E. Correct. E sound, right? E. So E. And then Alev itself is no sound. Right. So only power mark. Kirek is E sound. So E, e and then Yod is E, right? So Kirek Yod, you see? Kirek Yod, Kirek Yod, which makes the open complete vowel. So E, she, right? Ishi, Ishi. Ishi means man and husband. In Greek word, husband and man is Aner, right? Aner, Aner. And then Hebrew word is Ishi. And then look at here. 802, how do you pronounce? Mm -hmm. E, this is a ah, comment, right? Isha, ah, Isha. And you see the, you see here dot inside the shin? Okay? Inside the shin? So instead of you put this way, yod, okay? So E, she, that's the man, right? Okay. So you can say still E, sha, right? Okay. But instead of put yod, you put what? Strong, strong point here, because that's the hiret yod, right? Which is used as a vowel. So instead of you put yod here, and then this she okay she instead of she you put comet which is more stronger sound so you put that here e sha make sense okay that's how we change so you can use originally it's supposed to be what e sha like this right okay e sha but instead of yod you put the dot inside and then make the command make a strong sound okay so that's why isha isha you see the dot <laughs> and then you don't see the dot on the ish here right okay that's why the drop the yod here from the hirak yod and then put the hirak and then make the command and then change this yod to strong sound here okay and then you put he which means make the feminine so woman and wife so we know ish is fire that's why those direction indicator he is desiring and hoping so hoping fire woman is hoping fire and then woman is hoping to become Man, man. That's why First Corinthians chapter eleven says, "The head of a woman is man. The head of man is Christ. The head of Christ is God." So the woman is hoping to become a man. Man hoping to become Christ, and Christ is God. So it's combined, connect, connecting with each other. And there it says head is kepale. Kepale means you grab the head. Kepale, head. Okay. So feminine. So this is uh, the outline we study about the hair, windpipe, and hope. And next class, we are going to study valve. Okay.